over the last couple of months, uh, there's been a lot of talk of people uh, having bad attitudes and a lot revolving around this belt. Uh, all I know today is that one thing that's not going to revolve around this belt for a long time is going to be Shawn Michaels. I don't know where I'm at right now. I have to, uh, I have to have everything checked. I may have, I may be beyond reconstructive surgery. I may or may not be able to fix it. But if I can't come back and perform at the level I performed at before, I can't, I can't perform. I can't come out here and just go half-ass. I have to come out here and I have to romp and stomp and I have to get tossed around. I have to toss people around and I have to have fun. The schedule over the last year I took on because I didn't feel like I could say no. I wanted to do everything. I wanted to enjoy my life as the WWF champion. I wanted to, I wanted to ride in Lair jets and ride in limousines. And I wanted to be on TV shows and I wanted to do autograph sessions. And I got to do every bit of that. If nothing else, I have all of that to take with me. Again, and I know right now, we're in the middle of a time where toughness is real big here in the World Wrestling Federation. And unfortunately, all I've got right now for you is a lot of sorrow, a lot of tears, and a lot of emotion. I don't have any toughness for anybody. So, I guess, here you go. Here's your belt. What a bunch of shit. What I'm going to do is go back home and see what's left for me, whether it'll be in this ring, whether it'll be out of this ring. I know that over the, uh, the last several months, I've lost a lot of things, and one of them has been my smile. And, and I know it doesn't mean a whole lot to everybody else, but it means a lot to me. So I have to go back and fix myself and take care of myself. And I have to go back and I have to find my smile. Because somewhere along the line, I lost it. And I don't care. Really. I don't care if it's unpopular. And I don't care if uh, people want to make fun of me. Because I'm an emotional guy. But, um... This is all I've ever wanted to do, and uh, over the last year, I got to do it. And whether you like me or not, I just want to tell you that uh, last year was the most wonderful year of my life. And uh, if I never do get to do it again, it'll be okay, because I got to live one full year as being the number one guy in this business, and it was the single greatest year of my life, and I have you to thank, and I have everybody here to thank, and it means a lot to me, and uh, I'm going to go home now. Okay?